All right, uh, y'all all know uh, Coach Eilert. Eilert. He has a very special announcement. If you don't know who Eilert is, we took a picture this morning. There you go. There's Coach Eilert. He wants all students to know that in the mornings, if you're going to get breakfast, you have to go into the cafeteria, collect the breakfast, and then leave the cafeteria. Take it to go. Right. Also, he says you are not allowed to just go in the cafeteria to socialize and then come out of the cafeteria with nothing in your hand. So, if you're going to get breakfast, go straight to the cafeteria, get your breakfast, and leave. You must have gotten breakfast if you entered the cafeteria. Now, talking about Coach Eilert, again, freshman, here he is, in case you didn't know who we're talking about. Talking about Coach Eilert, there's a little bit of a debate because there are people who think that his dad jokes are funnier than mine. And Bree wanted everyone to know, because she thinks my dad jokes are hilarious, <laughs> that my jokes are are way funnier. Are my jokes way funnier? They are. Like, like his, like, they go straight over my head. Like, I don't understand at all. What's brown has no legs, but has a head and a tail? A quarter. No, a penny, a penny, a penny, a penny. She got that right. Yeah! What flower will tell all of your secrets? A willow? A tulip. A oh. tulip. What gets wetter the more it dries? A towel. It's a towel. It's a towel. Wait, say it again. What, what gets, gets wetter the it... more it dries? The more it dries. As it dries you off, it gets wetter. Uh. <laughs> My favorite one. How did the phone propose to the girlfriend? Ring, ring. Mm -hmm. It gave her a ring. I was good. Uh. It's Lake Bowl Day, one of the greatest games of the year. We'll catch up with Coach Jackson for a quick preview of tonight's game over in the Swamp. Homecoming is next week. We catch up with Miss July to get details about the queen voting process and the dress days starting Monday. The NFL kicked off last week. Mr. Lewis and Coach Fox will chat about week one. And today kicks off day one of Hispanic Heritage Month. Today, Friday, September 15, 2023. We're a few hours away from a beautiful weekend, but EVTV yeah, starts yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Competition, but if you go against me, you the opposition. But if you want to tell it like you could close the distance, I'm gonna give it a for ever since you're so persistent. Uh, with you, want to practice it because I'm back to bed. Let's get back to winning. As a matter of fact, I'm not that forgiving because you did this to yourself. That's a bad decision. I don't see no one in front of me. You is a ghost. You ain't got a soul. Whoa, always say that they gonna come for me. No one they won't. They doing the most. Whoa. Vision for Friday, September 15, 2023. I'm Bree, and today's top story highlights the football team as they prepare to head over to Lake Cormorant for the coveted Lake Bowl. South Haven High School was the traditional rival of Horn Lake throughout most of the school's history. However, all that changed a decade ago when the Horn Lake School District split, creating two schools, Horn Lake and Lake Cormorant. The legendary Lake Bowl is happening this Friday. But why exactly do we make this game such a big deal every season? The history of the Lake Bowl can be traced back to the earliest days of Lake Cormorant. 
The Gators became almost instant arch rivals of the Eagles as the schools are closely tied to each other's DNA. Lake Cormorant was established in 2010 as a division of the Horn Lake District. So in a sense, Lake Cormorant students were at one time Horn Lake students. There's something about that origin story that tends to make people cheer a little harder and yell a little louder when the two teams faced off year after year. Before 2010, the South Haven Chargers were the biggest rivals of Horn Lake High. Whenever the Eagles played the Chargers, it was the biggest game of the season, and alumni dating back to the 80s often recall how heated those games were. The unofficial Lake Bowl term began just a few years into Lake Cormorant's history. However, the actual exchange of the trophy began in the 2016 and 2017 seasons, where Horn Lake won 14-9 and 48-14. The trophy is sponsored by the Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity and the Omega Psi Phi Fraternity. As the team gears up for the game, we caught up with Coach Jackson for a quick preview. Good morning, Horn Lake. It's your head football coach, Coach Jackson. Uh, we have a game today at Lake Common. Come out and support our Eagles. Uh, the game will start at 7 o'clock. Um, it's a big game for us. It's the Lake Bowl, a good rival between Horn Lake and Lake Common. Come out and support us as we fight and uh, bring this trophy home. Thank you. As the Friday night lights illuminate the turf, the Eagles will take the field over in the swamp. But this week, we'll have the edge. We won't be drinking that Gator crap. Gatorade is out. Eagle Aid is in Friday night, 7 p.m. at the Lake Cormier Field. Come support your Eagles and get some Eagle Aid while you're out. Homecoming kicks off next week. We caught up with Ms. Jolly about the voting process today and the Spirit Week dress up days that start Monday morning. Good morning, students. This is Ms. Jolly, and today we are voting for Homecoming Queen. So I wanted to tell you a little bit about that. In your classroom, your teachers should have a QR code for you to scan so that you can vote. The window for voting is open from 9 to 9.30 this morning. So make sure that you do that during that window so that you can have your voice heard for who you want to be the homecoming queen to represent your school at the game. All right. Also, next week, we have Spirit Day. So each day, I hope we have a lot of participation with students dressing up. I'm going to run through those days with you really quickly. Monday is Jersey Day. So whatever your favorite team is, football, basketball, college, NFL, NBA, whatever, wear a jersey on Monday. Tuesday is Barbie or Ken Day. So um, get your best outfit for, for that for that day. Wednesday is Senior Citizen Day. Thursday is Celebrity Day. And Friday is Spirit Day. So I can't wait to see what everybody's wearing. Have a great day. Today marks the start of Hispanic Heritage Month. September 15th through October 15th is set aside each year to celebrate the history and the culture of Hispanics around the globe. Catherine Marie Cortez Masto is an American lawyer and politician serving as a senior United States Senator from Nevada since 2017. A member of the Democratic Party, she was the 32nd Attorney General of Nevada from 2007 to 2015. Cortez Masto graduated from University of Nevada, Reno and Gonzaga University School of Law. She worked four years as a civil attorney in Las Vegas and two years as a criminal prosecutor for the U.S. Attorney's Office in Washington, D.C., before being elected Nevada Attorney General in 2006, replacing George Chanos. Re-elected in 2010, she was not eligible to run for a third term in 2014 because of lifetime term limits established by the Constitution of Nevada. Cortez Masto narrowly defeated Republican Joe Heck in 2016, United States Senate election in Nevada to replace outgoing Democratic Senator Harry Reid, becoming the first woman elected to represent Nevada in the Senate and the first Latina elected to serve in the upper chamber.
Mr. Lewis sat down with Terrell last week to chat about his lengthy job resume. The clip is too long for the show, but it is now live on our YouTube channel. Be sure to check out our content that doesn't air on the show. It is week one has completed NFL and what a week it was. If you are a Cowboys fan, it y'all was are, a, y'all think y'all are going to the Super Bowl. It was y'all a, think oh, y'all are winning the Super everybody's Bowl. Everybody's talking about it. Everybody's talking about how it is a Super Bowl year for the Cowboys. If you watched EV TV, we had KJ Wright, who's an ESP analyst, come on, and one of the teams he was gushing over, gushing over was the Dallas Cowboys. He thought that the Dallas Cowboys have the personnel and the talent that it's going to take to go all the way. Now, having said all of that, if you are a New York fan of any type, Jets or Giants, it was a rough week. It was a bad It was a, it was a bad bad week. Now tell us a little bit about what happened for the Giants game first off. Okay, I will say that for about two minutes and 30 seconds the Giants had hope did they they drove down the field they were running the ball Saquon Barkley looked good and then the rookie center just completely missed the quarterback with the snap and then they blocked the punt and uh, we quit we could have left the field they fell off a cliff Fell off, fell a, off cliff. a cliff, and then the fell Cowboys the fans decided to just have this is why no one a likes good Cowboy old, fans. A good old time. This is a the good old time. No one likes Cowboy fans. Now, uh, what happened with the Jets? Give us a, a quick run. First of all, the Jets have not had a franchise player in forever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they yeah. finally scored Aaron Rodgers, arguably one of the best quarterbacks in NFL history. The Jets also, if you would have talked to them uh, about. Four days ago, five days ago, they were going to the Super Bowl. They were taking it all the way. Aaron Rodgers was going to pull a Tom Brady and take them all the way. Now, what happens when your franchise hinges on one player? What happens when that one player gets injured? Your dreams get crushed real quick. And that dude got, what, four snaps? Man, let me tell you what, real quick, real quick. The the New York teams, like, it's bad. Buffalo, Bills, Josh Allen can't keep the ball on his own team. He just gives it to the other team constantly. And then... Here you go. Yeah. Hey, take this. Run with it. You know? But I will say the backup quarterback for the Jets, he he kept them in the game. Like, he, they won. Right. Which they won. Was, they, ran, they won on a conference Which was shocking. Turn, it, was, it, was, but, it was actually a very solemn win. Like, everybody's yeah. like, huh, we won, <laughs> but... by. But I bought all these season tickets to go watch Aaron, Aaron Rodgers, and, and he's not going to be playing anymore. No. Did you see where Peyton and uh, Eli, you know, they do the quarterback thing? Oh, yeah. They were, like, ragging him for getting carted off. Right. I mean, granted, they didn't know he, like, tore his Achilles. It's like, are you kidding me? After four snaps and he gets hurt. Now, the NFL's come out, or the players' unions come out, and now they have re-sparked this whole controversy over turf. What do you think? I think it's a bad thing. I think it's... The question would be how... people are more and more fit these days, but they're getting hurt more and more. Right, but you have stadiums like uh, New York, that Life Stadium, that hosts both Jets and Giants, and they have to turn that thing around in 24 hours. I'm not sure how you would put a traditional grass field in there and, and make that happen in some of these stadiums. Well, I think you just have to schedule better. Right. Who who we got for week two? What do the Giants got for week two? Uh, we're playing the Cardinals. So, what is that, Kyler Murray? We're probably going to lose. The way we bounce back is like we start investing in some offensive linemen. We didn't even do it when we had Eli. We had Eli Manning and we wouldn't protect him. And he really could have probably played two or three more years, but... He got tired of getting hit. Yeah. No one wants to get tackled by 400-pound men every Sunday. This week's feature vocabulary words are coherent, compassion, and compensate. Coherent, logical, and consistent. Compassion. Concern for the sufferings or misfortunes of others. Compensate. Make up for something unwelcome or unpleasant by exerting an opposite force or effect.
will be administered on September 19th. Students who are interested in taking the ASVAB need to sign up for that test in the counselor's complex. The Mayor's Youth Council is holding a drive for the animal shelter. We need you guys to bring food, supplies, toys, and treats to your second block class. This will be a competition, so whichever class brings the most stuff will have either a pizza party or a Chick-fil-A party. The drive will end October 13th. Teachers, make sure your name is on the box or container that your items are in. Are you interested in joining the Beta Club? This club is for students looking for opportunities to volunteer, to be active within our Horn Lake community, and meet with others who believe in mentality of service. There could even be a field trip in the spring. Stop by D14 and scan the QR code to fill out the interest survey. That's it for today's episode here at Horn Lake, where our better students always grow and expect more. Stay tuned for your lunch meetings and athletic schedules. We'll see you here Monday. Have a fantastic weekend. Competition, but if you go against me, you the opposition. But if you want to look like you can close the distance, I'ma give an A for effort since you're so persistent. Uh, with you, I'm just practicing, cause I'm back to bet. Let's get back to winning. As a matter of fact, I'm not that forgiving, cause you did this to yourself, that's a bad decision. I don't see no one in front of me, you is a ghost, you ain't got a soul. Whoa, always say that they gon' come for me, knowing they won't, they doing the most. Whoa, this is my gotta get already. Not selling my you want the y'all moving, ready to go. Whoa. Just so sad with it. To me, you're just a ghost. Don't get mad with me. Just so